everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Founders Fruitwood. So they took their Cherry Ale Cerise, and they aged this one in maple syrup bourbon barrels. Just hit the Cleveland area, so I'm going to be checking out this one with you guys. Now, I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm not excited for this fucking beer whatsoever. Cerise was actually replaced by Rubeus. Now, Rubeus I like quite a bit. Raspberries, awesome stuff. Cherries, eh, that beer was very medicinal. Just not a fan. When Founders discontinued it, I was okay with that. But I'm interested to see what this beer is like. But again, not super, super excited for this one. But you know what? I love you guys, so I'm doing this for you anyways. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Definitely big cherry note right up front, like tart, fresh cherries. A little bit of vanilla in there, too. Yeah, definitely need some vanilla sweetness, maybe even a hint of oak. There's like this kind of earthy note. Hint of maple in there, but definitely more vanilla, not really getting the bourbon too much. Yeah, it's mostly like tart fresh cherries. It doesn't smell as medicinal as Cerise, which is awesome because that was the one big flaw for me at least. And it, it actually smells, it smells okay. You know, you get some vanilla, definitely a little bit of like maple hint in there, but let's go ahead, check out the taste. Oh, there we go. Wow. That is a lot of tart, fresh cherries right up front. It is slightly, slightly medicinal. Not as bad as I remember Cerise being, though. I think the barrels might have tamed this one a little bit. Because that to me, that was almost like cough syrup, cough drop kind of, you know, taste to this one. And it's got a little bit of a medicinal quality, but not over the top. Definitely getting some earthy sweetness, some vanilla, a little bit of oak, too. Not a ton, but a little bit. Yeah, tart cherries up front. Tastes like fresh fruit. Yeah, that cherry note is really big, though, of course. And then there's a little bit of sweetness, and it finishes. The finish is actually really, really nice because it's a combination of the maple and the bourbon. Not much in the way of, like, actual bourbon, but just more of, like, the oak barrel, you know? So you're getting, like, the vanillins, a little bit of oak notes, too. And then, yeah, it's just, like, it's a really nice finish, actually. And definitely on the sweet side, but for 8%, very easy to drink. It's very light-bodied. It's still pretty crisp. You know, maybe slightly creamy mouthfeel to this one, but very easy to drink for 8%, that's for sure. Yeah, this is not as bad as I was expecting, to be honest with you guys. I thought this was just going to be a waste of maple syrup bourbon barrels, and that's really not the case. Yeah, the finish is really awesome. It's the upfront thing. Again, that slightly medicinal cherry thing doesn't really do it for me, but the finish with the maple and the vanilla is really, really nice. So there are aspects of it I like of it, but eh, in general, I don't know. It, it It is an okay beer. It's not a great beer, though. In terms of rating for this one, guys, I'm trying to think about this one because I'm not sure whether I like it more or less than Lizard of Cause, because there were certain things I liked about that too, but overall it was kind of a mess of a beer. This one, this actually might be a little better, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I think I do like it a touch more, just because that maple-y, you know, vanilla, oaky finish. So I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10. Not, you know, nothing crazy, nothing over the top, but, you know, they actually made what I thought was a disgusting beer a pretty decent beer, and I think that says a lot. So, if you guys have tried this beer, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you know, hit that like button for me. If you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe, and of course, I will see you in another review, and I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. Cheers.